Grade 7 Math, number 9.5a, Volume of a Triangular Prism. This is the volume of a prism formula. V equals BH is volume equals the base times the height, and we can use this for any prism. We learned about volume last year in sixth grade. Do you remember? Volume is a measurement in cubic units of the amount of space within a bounded region. There's no gaps or overlaps, and we use inches, feet, centimeters yards, anything to measure the length. We use square inches, square feet, square meter, centimeters to measure area. We use cubic units of measures to measure volume. So it could be cubic feet, cubic inches, cubic centimeters, cubic meters. So this is one cubic centimeter because every side is one centimeter. So it's one centimeter cubed. See? The volume of a solid is the number of cubic units within the solid. So if we had a box that fit these 12 blocks, it would be a box that's 12 cubic units. All right? Okay, Emma has a tent in the shape of a triangular prism. How many cubic feet of space are in her tent? So it's showing that the tent is 9 feet long this way, 6 feet across here, 5 feet on the slant here, and 4 feet straight up for its height. So the first thing we do is find the base area of the prism. And the base of a prism is its polygon shape. So we stand it up on end so that the triangle is on the top and on the bottom. So those are its bases and the rectangles end up becoming the lateral sides. Okay? So to find a base, that means we're finding a triangle, we do base is equal to half base height. So that means it's equal to half six times four. Because see how this is six and the height is four? We got our little perpendicular symbol there showing it's a 90 degree angle. So we need half of 6 times 4. So we do 6 times 4 is 24 and half of that is 12 so that base is 12 square feet. Now we find the volume of the prism. Now that we have the base we can plug that into the volume of the prism formula. V equals BH. So the volume is going to equal 12 times the height. And the height, because we've got it standing up this way now, is a 9. See? It's not the 4. We did that for the base. Now the height, because it's standing up, is a 9. So we do 12 times 9, which means the volume of this prism is 108 feet cubed. See the little 3? We use the exponent 3 to show its cubic units. When we have a 2, those are square units for a flat surface area that's 2D. See? Like... 2D Bob. Well, three units shows length, width, and height. So that's cube units. So that means there's 108 cubes that are one foot long, one foot wide, and one foot high that would fit in Emma's tent. 108 feet cubed. So here's what you need to remember. Whatever the shape of the prism, we stand it up so the polygons are the bases, the top and the bottom. And the rectangular sides are its lateral faces. See? So even this one that looks like a wedge of cheese, as long as the triangle is on the top and the bottom, then we know it's okay. See? Whatever the shape, if it's a hexagon, a square, a pentagon, those are the bases, and these long rectangles are the lateral faces. Okay? So just remember that when you're doing your volume formula, and you say, well, what's the base? Well, what's the shape of the polygon? That's the base. Okay? We're going to continue talking about volume in our next video, 9.5b. I hope to see you there, and I hope this helped. Bye.